okay dear students let us see what is there in this question now uh, the coil of direct current electric motor is turning with the time period capital T and at t is equal to 0 the coil is in the position as shown in the diagram so this position is t is equal to 0 assume the magnetic field is uniform across the coil now, this is a very big condition please note this thing magnetic field is to be taken uniform everywhere on all the points on the coil which graph shows the variation with time of the force exerted on the section xy of the coil during one complete term so this is the section that is from x to to y and we want to find the direction of the force or like the magnitude of the force will there be a variation or not and we need to see the graph okay so let us uh, first of all see the graphs here okay so these are the four graphs on our screen okay so let us now see we need to comment on the magnitude also okay so my dear students we know that the magnitude of the force is given by b i l sine theta and theta is the angle between the wire that is like this if this is the current element now this is known as current element current element means a very small part which is having i current which is passing through it and dl is the length of the that segment so this is known as current element so theta is the angle between current element and the magnetic field at that point now it will be a variable you see this now if this is the point and this is the situation so definitely the magnetic field will be like this and the angle will be 90 degree but if it goes here here so the magnetic field is again like this and uh, the line is into it so you can always see that the angle between the magnetic field and the length is always coming out to be 90 degree so this will be 90 degree it is variable sometimes but in this question it is not so theta is always equal to 90 degrees so your force becomes b i f and now we want to see the direction of the force okay so the magnetic field is from north to south like this and you can use Fleming's left hand rule or the rule that is my favorite that is right hand palm rule so i am keeping my fingers um, according to the magnetic field and my thumb is pointing towards the current that is uh, following and so my palm is upward so it means that the force experienced by this will be upward and the magnitude will be equal to bil so magnetic field is uniform current is constant and l is also same and there is no problem with the theta also so this force is bil which is a constant force so it is not a variable it is constant force so once it crosses the highest point i would say like this one and it moves to this and the y comes here and x comes here the current will change its direction and now the magnetic field is again in the same direction like this so where will be the force magnetic field and the current so now the force is downwards this is the force so if this force is treated as positive like sign convention is required so this will be negative and negative for like uh, double the time like it has half the circle here and then a complete circle like this here and then the other half like this so this is how it is moving okay so i'm not able to draw it properly but i believe you will imagine this thing so uh first let us now move to graphs now you see i think a is the correct option for us why you see the force is first of all constant and the force is coming out to be b i l and that even positive and then the force is negative again the magnitude will be b i l so the same thing this length is equal to this length and again for the rest of the cycle that is one fourth cycle that will be left the force is again becoming positive b i l and so our answer is a it is not b because no negative values it is not c because no negative values and here the force is a variable but in our case force is constant so the answer is b answer is a
ऑल दी बेस्ट